welcome to NI Multisum Beginners Tutorial. The first thing you see on the screen after opening the software is the user interface. You can see a toolbar in the right corner which can which is comprises of a number of tools which is mainly used and frequently used by the electrical engineering students. For example, you can see here Timeter, Function Generator, Watt Meter, like shown here and the oscilloscope, two channel oscilloscope which is simply written as oscilloscope and a four channel oscilloscope that means you can get readings from two different points in the simple oscilloscope and from two, four different points from the four channel oscilloscope this, there are also a couple of tools which I, we will study in our next tutorials where we study the DC circuits and transient analysis and a lot of things. The next thing you can see is on the top of the screen is the file menu here. This file menu comprises of different number of options which is frequently used for managing your project for example saving your project and to close your project or to open the existing one or to create a new one. For example, if I create a new one here, although you can create by using a shortcut key named Control plus N, it will create a new project named Design 3. And there is another option, for example, if you are working on a project and close it and want to open it again, you can use this option for, for opening the project. For example, I have created a, this project earlier. The next thing you will see is the open samples. You can open the sample which is created by the multi sim itself for example the power graph if i click here on it it will shown here that it is a power graph the next thing you will see is the edit button in the edit there are a number of options for example if you have done something wrong you can undo by clicking on it or you want to revert it back you can go for redo there are a couple of uh, normal options like cut, copy, paste, etc. We will explore it further in our next tutorials. But for now, you must just overview these options. The next thing you will see here is a view option. You can go to the full screen mode or zoom in to, into your uh, working area or zoom out into your working area. Or you can zoom to a specific area. and you can always go to zoom fit to page where you can see just fit to the dimensions of the screen there are also a couple of different options for example the show grid option here and in the next tutorial you will see it will greatly help you in placing your component because components will snip to the grid the next option here is the place option there are a couple of different options in the place menu for example you see the component you can place your components from selecting it from the group sources and a lot of other stuff here for example you can add the register from choosing the basic menu and we will further discover it in our next tutorials when we study the transient analysis and a lot of other stuffs here the next thing you see here is the junction option it will add a junction to the wires and the next thing is a simple wire there are also a couple of options and we will going to discover it in our next tutorials and one more important thing you can always add or remove the toolbar for increasing your view site for example if i want to remove the standard it will remove this site and it will make it appear again you will click on it again the next thing you see here is the most frequently used components for example the source here the resistors the diodes and the transistors and the analog components and transistor ICs and CMOS ICs the next thing you see here are the virtual components actually the virtual components are those components which didn't have footprints and you will know it when you are going to the PCP design for PCB design you must have the footprint of the component and if you are doing analysis only on software and didn't want to print it specifically then you can surely use uh, 
the virtual components you can click on it to show what components it is hiding for example these diodes here it is holding two components for example this is a simple diode here and a virtual zener diode that's for all for the introduction